Hey, what is up guys? Before we start off this video, I have an exciting announcement. I am partnering up with the OP Legends Minecraft server. The server is releasing this Saturday, October 3rd at 3 p.m. Eastern. The server is allowing me to give all of you guys free ranks. Like, where have you heard of that before? All you have to do is just go on the store, click Skyblock, put in your username, and make sure you hit the citizen rank. And during checkout, use code one tap to get it for completely free. More on this server this weekend when it drops. I'm looking forward to it. There will be links down in the description if you want to check it out. Now on to the main video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is the 13th episode, I think, of the Hardcore series. If you haven't seen the rest, go check out the playlist in the description below. I want to start off this video by just saying thank you, Lincoln Watson, for donating in the last stream. You really didn't have to, but I got you your purple sign right here. I promise it's gonna look a lot better later, I just haven't had the time to. Well, one of the most important things I got when I was gone was an ocean explorer map. And I actually found it in my world. It wasn't too far, it was about a thousand blocks. It only took me like 20-ish rockets to get there. It wasn't that bad. But yeah, there were a lot of guardians around. And I wasn't really ready. I didn't have any like milk or anything. So I was gonna leave and come back later. Okay, so I wanna make a guardian farm, but they are pretty expensive. So this is the YouTube video that I am using. It should be up on the screen. And these are the materials that he says that you will need, so there is a lot. This, this is not okay. 48 obsidian too, I gotta see how much obsidian I have right now. Currently have 18 obsidians, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go get some more obsidian, that's gonna be really annoying, but I mean, I do have an efficiency 4 diamond pickaxe, so it should be a bit better. 271 was just all grinding up for some resources to make this build. It was quite a complicated process because there were just so many new things I haven't made before, like scaffolding. But I had the bamboo for it, so that was pretty good. By the end of day 271, I have gathered up these resources. I'm still gonna need a lot of like temporary blocks and so much soul sand. I think I need like 500 or so soul sand, that's absolutely crazy. I guess I'm gonna have to start grinding that out tomorrow. Yeah, there was a lot of crafting in this process. Okay, I've basically gotten everything, now I just need the 7.5 stacks of soul sand. It's time for me to go grinding. Is this all soul sand? Oh no, that's netherrack. I was about to say, if that was all soul sand, that would've just made my job a lot easier. Yo, I just started gassed. Where you at, bro? The nether's kinda scary. I used to die in the- oh, calm down, bro. I used to die in the nether a lot. Can you stop shooting me? I'm trying to talk to the freaking viewers, man. Alright, I gotta get out of here and find some soul sand. Ooh, I found some soul sand, I th no, never mind. this is not soul sand. Wait, what even is this? Is this like- Oh wait, this is netherrack? Why does it look like this? Dude, this biome is just humongous. I'm trying to find some soul sand valleys or something like that. Alright boys, we finally found some soul sand and soul soil. I believe this is soul soil and this is soul sand, so there's a lot here, so let's get digging. Okay, this is actually a lot slower than I thought. I thought I was gonna be able to like insta-mine this stuff, but I guess not. Oh, I only have efficiency one? That's why. I did not know that this shovel was only efficiency one. Oh yeah, I definitely need to upgrade this sometime soon. Whoa, oh, is he mad? Okay. Calm down. I can't run. I can't run. No, get me out of here. Wait, I think I need gold armors. I'm just gonna kill him. All right, hopefully no one else is mad. No one come near me. I'm just trying to get my soul sand note. All right, there's some soul sand right here. I'm gonna just farm this up. Okay, I'm finally done with this soul sand harvesting. We got, I think, eight stacks of soul sand, so we went a little bit above, but that's all right. And now it's time to go back. Oh, I just heard a, I just heard a gas shoot something at me, dude. The nether is a scary place. I really don't like this place. Yeah, well, anyway, let's go back, and I think we are almost all set to build this guardian farm. Sorry if those portal sounds were loud. Uh, hopefully, I turned them down a bit in editing. Yeah, all right, let's go back and check out what we've got here. Alright, I think I got everything finally figured out. So we got our soul sand, we have our dirt, which is gonna be like our temporary block. I couldn't fit everything in, so I have some of it in my inventory. And I use soul campfires instead of normal campfires, which is mentioned in the video. Because I'm pretty sure soul campfires do twice the damage. What are you doing up there, bud? Huh? Let me just get rid of you real quick. Alright, there we go. Back and peaceful again. For some reason, there's always some sort- uh, Did I hear another one? There's always some sort of zombies or anything that's just alive somehow. He's he's probably below me to be honest. So before we go and leave for the ocean monument, I went to go grab some buckets of milk. And I'm also gonna bring me a shield. And also an extra totem on dying just in case this one gets used. Pretty unlikely, but you know, just in case. I'm gonna keep the totem and dying in there and I'll just have the shield ready just in case I wanna use it. A lot of you guys say I should use shields, and yeah, I agree, but like also I kinda want the totem and dying because it kinda just saves me from a life, but yeah, I'll use my shield there too. If I ever get low in health though, I'll just switch over to my totem of undying. We finally got to the ocean monument, so now all I have to do is just find a little place to set down my bed and my materials. 
All right, so I don't know if this is lucky or not, but I think this is a shipwreck down here. I was just gonna like plant my base up from this thing. And yeah, I think that's a shipwreck, but I don't know if they're rare or like they always spawn next to these ocean monuments, but that's pretty cool. We can check that out later. First, I'm just gonna make a little platform right here so I can just put my bed down and my materials. So build materials, I'll just put them here. And then, oh wait, my bed's in this one. So put that down, grab the white bed, and then also a torch. There we go, that's our little base. All right, well, that's nice, so I'm just gonna head to bed. Wait, what's that? I thought that was just like an island, but it's just like half a tree not rendered in. Okay, well, now it's day, and I'm actually gonna have to go defeat the Elder Guardians. This is gonna be kind of tricky because the actual, like, Guardian thingies do a lot of damage, so I gotta be careful. But I have my Totem of Undying ready. So I don't know how to approach this, really, because, like, I've only done this one other time, and I kind of forgot how I did it because it was a while ago. Do I just shoot him with, like, a bow? Does that work underwater? Okay, I don't know. This is not good. How are they hitting me this far? Okay, maybe I should actually dip. Or I need a better way of tackling this because this is not working. They get a lot of damage off me. So yeah, I'm gonna be really careful. I'm gonna move away if they do like more than half hearts to me. Yeah, so as you guys can see, I'm not a pro at this. I don't know how to do this, but I think I found an all right way. I like to sit up here with a bow and I'm just shooting them. And so far it seems like it's working. So I've been sitting here shooting at them for a while and I kind of forgot to put my chest plate on. So that was why they were doing so much damage to me. So, um, let's see if I can get a TNT down. So, I'll, ow! Oh, they only do one heart. Okay, that always scares me, bro, because before, they were hitting me for so much. Ow, where are you hitting me from? Is it that guy? Oh my, I got mining fatigue again, bro. Are you joking? So, let's heal a little bit more. Who is hitting me? Like, I'm actually so confused about this. I think it's that guy. Okay, so I need to put TNT down here, and then dirt, rest on block. Go, go, go! Let's see if that works. All right, so I broke open a hole. Oh, that kid's shooting at me. Ow, calm down, bud. All right, maybe I should build these walls higher because people are still hitting me somehow. Let's check out what happened. Okay, there he is. Okay. Oh, oh, he's coming out. Yo, run, run, run. Yo, calm down, bro. Wait, what? I don't know if I did this right, guys. Where did he go? So I sat up here and just shot him a couple times with the bow and it actually ended up working. I was so surprised. Ah, I'm getting hit. Okay. Well, um, I've got to do this quick because I don't have much time in the water. Let's try doing this one. I gotta place down the TNT. I think it should be right here. And then dirt around Bruh. it. Oh, that was not dirt. That's not dirt. Oh, run, run, run. Hopefully that still works. Yeah, it did not work. Let me let me do that again. Oh, I don't even I have mining fatigue now, dude. No. I'm just gonna drink my milk. Alright, this is really scuffed, but I think I found a decent strategy. So I got a door down here so I can actually get some air. Alright, this might work. This might work. This has to work, man. Come on. How many hits does it take, dude? Oh, there we go. Let's go. That's the second one down. All right, well, now I have a good strategy I can use for the third one. So I just exploded it open with TNT, and then it took a lot of time, but I managed to kill him. Okay, now that all that stuff is taken care of, we can actually get started with the build.
right? Well, now, since everything is finally finished, that was probably the most annoying thing I've ever had to do on this series. It took so long to build that, and I was not prepared for, like, anything. Yeah, I'm, like, just about sick of playing Minecraft now, so it's time to AFK. Alright, guys, now I'm back. I think I AFK'd for a bit too long, actually, because I, like, ate dinner, went outside, you know, did some normal things. And it's been like five days, so let's. I'm, I'm hoping the chests did not like overfill, that would be bad. But there's a lot of guardians here, so that's a good sign. Oh, my game is lagging. Whenever I walk by these guys, it just lags. Probably because all these bubbles. There's so many bubbles that I have to render in. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go back to zero zero. All right, so I'm finally here in the nether. It took a while to get here. I had to build a lot of things so I know where I'm going. Like, I got arrows and all that stuff. That's a really ugly arrow. All right, well, anyway, let's see how much stuff we have. Oh, yep, I... Ow! Calm down. Where did you come from? Oh, my gosh, you actually got me low. All right, well, anyway, my predictions were right. This is completely full, dude. That's... That's crazy. This is literally all full. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna come back here and add probably two two more layers or just one more layer. I don't even know. Honestly, this is literally enough for like a lifetime. We're not gonna need any more than this, I swear. Also infinite fish, I guess, too. Alright, well that's cool. Um here, I gotta I gotta clean all my inventory so I can bring some back. I don't think we're gonna need the cod. I'll throw some of the cod away. Kelp, definitely not. And this tropical fish. Okay. Let's just fill up our inventory with as much of this stuff as possible. And we can always come back for more. Wow, dude, it honestly feels so great to be back. Oh, there's phantoms here. Let me get rid of you guys real quick. Hey, dude, I gotta get my armor and everything all mended up. And since I have villagers, it should be a really easy process. All right, I gotta go to bed to get rid of these guys. All right, well, as I was saying, I am so happy to be back here. I miss this place, man. I was out in the ocean making that monument for so long, AFKing and all that. And we're finally back. So today, I want to continue work on our base because we need a new base as fast as possible. And once our new base is constructed, we can pretty much just do whatever. Like, we'll just be adding on crazy things from them, building more farms, just building mega structures, and it'll just be epic. So we got to get our base foundation down first. All right, well, now it's time for me to sort out my inventory. This is going to be so much fun. Yeah, so I went and traded with the villagers so I can mend up my armor and my tools. After a while of sorting out my stuff, mainly just dumping everything in that chest, but my inventory is looking pretty good. I also got some quartz for the day, and here, I'm gonna bring all this quartz with me. Except those bricks, those bricks are ugly. Alright, yeah, we got all those quartz with me. And I want to get some dark prismarine. I don't know how to craft dark prismarine. Hold up, let's see if I can craft it. Oh, you just need black dye with- okay, that's, that's easy enough, okay. Oh, uh, where did I put my ink sacks, man? Oh, okay, they're in here. There we go, so let's craft up some dark prismarine. I think we're gonna need a lot of it. Oh, I need to make black dye first. Okay, there. Now I should be able to do it. Alright, let's just make as much dark prismarine as we can. We can only make 16 pieces. What? Actually, okay, maybe we're gonna need a bit more of that, uh, of those shard thingies. Alright, that's all that I had. Let's see how much dark prismarine we can make. And another 24 pieces, so we got 40 now. Okay, I mean, I guess it's not that bad, because I only grabbed like 6 or 7 stacks, I think. Alright, well, we're, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go back and grab some more so I can make more dark prismarine. Alright, we're back at the farm, and we have a clean inventory, mostly. I probably should have left this block of quartz back. But we have a whole sugar box called Build Materials that's completely empty, so we should be chilling. And yeah, I added more rows down here, and they should be slowly starting to fill up. Alright, well, I guess it's time to just grab everything. I'm just gonna throw all these raw cods away, because, like, we're never really gonna need all that. Alright, I think we're good to go. We have a full inventory, a full shulker box, and yeah, I think it's ready. Oh, wait, we we have to put one stack back so we can actually pick up the shulker box. There we go, okay. That's a lot of raw cod there. Alright, so I crafted the most amount of dark prismarine I could with the black dye that we had, because it was the black dye that we didn't have enough of, not the prismarine, as you can see. So, yeah, I think this is definitely good enough, though. We have two stacks of dark prismarine. So if we ever need more, I can always go back and just AFK and all that stuff. That farm was actually efficient. I didn't, I didn't really know, like... But I, then again, I guess I did AFK pretty long. <laughs> okay, well now I guess it's time to go work on the base. Alright, so I've been in creative in, like, a super fat world, designing a base idea for so long, and I just, like, I don't know, man, it, it was really hard to make this design. I'm not that good at making, like, futuristic type bases and all that stuff, but this was my best shot at it. So here's the reveal in 3, 2, 1. Oh, just kidding, you thought I'm not actually going to show you, but I do have a design down, so you guys are going to have to wait till I actually build it in my real world. This took like an hour or so to design, because I just didn't know what to do. Alright, so one last thing I need, actually. So this, this area right here spawns Oxide Daisies. They give you gray dye, and I need gray dye for this build, so I've just been sitting here picking up these flowers, bone milling them. Alright, now I just need to make some light gray concrete powder, 
And we have a stack in 24, it's probably enough. I hope it is. If it's not enough, then uh, I'm kind of too lazy to go and grab some more of the dye. <laughs> and to turn the stuff into actual concrete, I'm just gonna have to go here and just mine it like this. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a couple minutes when I'm done mining all this. Okay, well now I got all my concrete ready to go, and I think it is time to start this build, so enjoy this time lapse. Actually, one more thing. I'm sorry this episode has been just a lot of building. It kind of had to have been done, but I promise next episode is going to be the 300 day finale. So there's going to be some nice, exciting things waiting for you then. That's probably going to be sometime next week. So yeah, I'm sorry this episode has just been mainly building. Some people like it, some people don't. Alright, well that's enough of me talking. Enjoy the time lapse. Okay guys, we are finally back, and this is what I've gotten so far. So, this whole outer thing is gonna be all filled up soon. I don't have the right materials for that because I do need blue stained glass, and I'm gonna need a lot of it. And also some white stained glass for these windows right here. So right here, they're just gonna be normal windows. Uh, I've yet to figure out a front door. This could probably be a front door, or there could just be doors on every single corner. I could just open this up, make it a door. And there will be like a hallway inside here. And then in the center, there will be, I don't know, tons of rooms and stuff. Just where we can get things done. And we can always, like, expand it out. Like, like this way, for example. We could just break this and then just have, like, a hallway going this way, connecting to even more things. So this thing has endless possibilities. So yeah, once again, I'm super sorry. This video has just been a lot of building, but I had to get things done today. But I think it turned out pretty cool. Alright, well, now it's time for today's shoutout winner. So today's shoutout winner goes to Lydia. I'm gonna put you right here and you are today's shout out winner for episode 13. So congratulations to you and now you have your very own sign. Wait, one thing before this video ends, I think I need to refill my golden carrots. Alright, there we go, now we have enough golden carrots, okay. Well anyway guys, that's gonna be probably it for this video. Stay tuned for this weekend, there's gonna be some cool content dropping that's not Minecraft Hardcore, but don't worry, Minecraft Hardcore will be coming up right after that, so don't you worry, I'm never gonna be stopping this series, we're gonna be going as long as I can. Let's see if we can make it to a thousand days, hopefully, that would be really sick. So yeah, next week we're gonna be hitting 300 days in Minecraft Hardcore, so hope you guys are all excited for that. And that's gonna be pretty much it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.